past. Apparently, while some ghosts appear amongst old ruins or in dark corridors, others crop up on camera, and Morris has the pictures to prove it. This first one here was taken in the Austrian Tyrol by some people who had been on holiday there, and they were spending their last night at the hotel. And this gentleman on the right decided to take a photograph of all the people sitting around the table. He set his camera up in the table in front, uh, went back to his seat. The camera then went off, but the flash didn't go off. So he got up, went back to the camera again, set it off, he couldn't see anything wrong with it, set it again, went back to his seat, sat down. This time, the camera went off with the flash. And you can see it's perfectly ordinary photograph. But the second one, the second photograph here, which is actually the first photograph taken without the flash, shows an extra person within the photograph. She's actually within the table. She's behind the glasses in the front there. So it's no, not a question of being a double exposure or anything like that. She's actually within the photograph. She's 15% too large and she's slightly out of focus. Completely unexplained. Now the second one here was taken in the tunnel on the Bakerloo line and we believe more or less under Madden to Swords. When the photograph came out, it was an extraordinary thing. Here in the background is a man sitting in an electric chair and we now know it to be Bruno Hauptmann who was executed for the murder and the kidnapping and murder of the Lindbergh child in the 1930s. We know that the model of this person in an electric chair is in Madden to Swords, and it's absolutely identical, except for the flashes that come from the hand here. Now, people said, oh, well, it's a poster. Well, first of all, you don't have a poster in the tunnel. And secondly, this image is right, almost right up against the glass. It doesn't make very, very much sense. Now, I hit this one here, was taken in Halifax by a lady who was having a party. She took a whole series of photographs at that time, but number seven photograph on the negative is something very extraordinary. Here's the picture of two entertainers, and at the back of them is a picture of a couple, as you can see quite clearly. Now that is her mother and her stepfather, and they have been dead five years. Now, of course, it was said, oh, well, that uh, could be a, a double exposure from a photograph. But when I asked the lady about the photograph, she, I said, have you got any photographs similar to that? She said, yes, I have. And she showed me this photograph, which is similar, but these people are at least 15 years older. Wow, thank you very much indeed, Morris. Morris tells us that each of these pictures has been examined by experts who can come up with no rational explanation. Gosh, it's all very strange. Now, this one here was taken in Covent Garden mm -hmm. by, the husband, by the husband of this woman at the back here. Yeah. And that's her small child there. And yeah. this is his other daughter. He took the photograph here of his daughter. Yeah. And in the background, you can see a woman sort of wafting along here with no legs. Oh, good grief. Yes. We haven't got an explanation for that one either. Because the position she's in, she's certainly not running. And she's yeah. certainly not walking. And she certainly hasn't got any legs.